Um, this is one of my more happier songs. With a webcam, you can join the millions who've turned their computers into tiny TV studios. Or the people who've discovered the miracle of Skype calls. That's me talking to my wife who was in the South Pacific, and the video call didn't cost a dime. Uh, people are using this more and more all the time. Uh, probably what really needs to catch up is, is just people getting used to the idea that, that they can see people on the other end of the screen rather than just call them. And if you haven't caught up to the webcam craze yet, maybe it's a good thing you waited. High-definition webcams are just coming onto the market. Wider shots, more colorful, and much clearer. So, how do you choose? Well, I'll try to make it just a little easier for you by comparing these four HD webcams using their own video and audio in the process. First of all, industry leader Logitech. This is the Vision Pro for Mac. Definitely a bold, very clear picture. Great CD quality sound and a stylish design, but also the most expensive of the bunch at $130. And this is the Microsoft LifeCam 6000, by far the smallest and least expensive of the HD cameras at $60. But as you can see, it has a little trouble following motion, and it doesn't work with a Macintosh computer. It does, however, have a handy swivel head. It's easy to point and shoot, so you will realize that you can uh, basically move the head of the webcam to show what is happening in front of and the back of your, of your laptop, in front and back of your computer. This is the $79 Blue Microphone Eyeball. It takes a whole new approach. You see, Blue is already a leading manufacturer of studio microphones, and it shows in the design of the eyeball, which is mostly microphone. But the tiny, innovative pop-out camera certainly has an okay picture, ranks about in the middle of the pack. But the design of the unit itself beats all the competition. Everything tends to look a little bit like lab test equipment or something very technical. And we want to make the technology push a little bit to the background and have the products be more fun, more accessible. Finally, the $119 Face Vision. All right, it's a little clunky looking on the outside, but it delivers a nice picture. Plus, it's the only webcam on the market right now capable of delivering a high-definition Skype call. We actually have a H.264 video encoder chip that's built into this camera. So what happens is it captures the video. The Face Vision uh, TouchCam N1 actually compresses the video using H.264 encoding, and that makes it small enough to fit through your average internet pipe. So which one do I recommend? Well, it's the one you're watching right now. Turns out you get what you pay for, the $130 Logitech Pro Vision, best camera I've tested. Now, if you want to get into HD Skyping, though, the only one you can go with is the Face Vision, and it's not a bad picture otherwise. If money is an object, do yourself a favor and check out the blue microphone eyeball. You'll be the envy of all your friends. By the way, I put a link to all the websites and to the story right here at WXYZ.com.